my dad talking to you about his dad. If I remain still, if I'm alone and silent long enough to hear the sound of my own blood or breathing or digestion above the rustling of leaves and the whir of the refrigerator, my father is likely to turn up. <laughs> he just arrives, unbidden, in the long-running film of my thoughts, like Hitchcock in his pictures. And he looks for all these 40 plus years of disembodiment, much like himself, big and sandy haired with freckles on the backs of his hands, perhaps a bit more diffident in the way he holds himself than I remember. Doesn't stay long. As far as I can tell, his visits have no message. Yet even though years of therapy have led me to make the dark whistling claim that he's finally dead and gone. My father, who died when I was 17, continues to be my principal ghost. A lifelong I mean all screes, and only my own end will finish it. I've seen the family photos, and the man's a mystery. Died in 1942, at the age of 43. My grandmother was his widow, my father was his son. Oh, I know next to nothing of the first louder. They say he was an SOB who liked to smoke and drink. In the photos, he looks handsome. Trapped is what I think. And there's one of him in uniform. It must be World War I. They say he was an expert sailor and could handle a shotgun. Close my fist. 
I spread my hands and flex my fingers. 